Welcome to Lost Play. I'm Jeff. I'm Matt. And today we're going to take a look at upcoming version of a Wizard's Lizard 2.3.0. Ooh. Includes a whole bunch of uh, fixes and tweaks and a new challenge mode that Matt made just for me. Just for you, Jeff, and all of our players as well. Oh, well, now I feel less special. Yeah, well, it's not just for you. Don't be greedy. That's right. Greedy, Jeff. This challenge is called Hell's Barrels. Yeah, it's, you know, come on. It's playing words. Hell's Bells, right? Hell's, Hell's Bells. Bar yeah, come on. <laughs> Help so me out is, here. This is the very first time I've seen this challenge. And this is the first challenge that I've made. So we have the, <laughs> the collision of uh, two unknowns here. We don't know how this is going to go. So I've got a boom spear and a sword and a whole bunch of soul orbs. You get to pick. I, I thought it might be nice if you can pick between the boom spear, which is very deadly, and oh the uh, <laughs> the sword, which is less deadly and more kind of functional. Oh, I didn't really do that well, did I? Uh, you kind of, you know, uh, scraped off the side of the of the barrel grid. Scraping the sides of the barrel. Oh, God. <laughs> kind of hurting myself here. I mean. Did you blow yourself up with the boom barrel? Boom spear? I may have taken some boom spear damage. Yeah, I, I figured that might be a little too much for some players, so that's why there's the sword. Ooh, yeah, wasn't that fun? I like oh, that room. Yeah. Now, ooh, <laughs> you just went right into it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're like, I'm not going to plan this out at all. I'm just going to rush. That's right. <laughs> just like a werewolf would. So, are all the barrels here required? No. You don't have to destroy all the barrels. You just have to destroy the monsters. I see. So, but like the huggers are... Those are actually marked specifically as monsters. Uh, the hugger eggs, because that's not always the case. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, you're killing yourself. I love it. Oh, there man. you go. Now you learned. The boom Take spear a step is back. awful for this area. Yeah. It's it's a decision you need to make. Oh, oh yep. I feel like maybe I shouldn't... Uh, oh, six. <laughs> wow, that's rotten, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> You ate it! I did. All right, well, let's see if I can do a little better this time. Now that you uh, know you know, what you're dealing with, it think. is kind of, I don't know. Again, this is my first challenge, and the times especially, I don't know if those are way off or pretty good. I was able to get uh, silver pretty reliably, but gold, um, <laughs> full disclosure, <laughs> I couldn't get gold myself. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I have, I have a tendency, I think, to make things too hard, and I'm trying to curb that, but uh, yes. we'll see how it goes. This is, uh, this is rather interesting. Yay! That's so much better than... This is rather boring, Matt. Well, it's kind of a, a different challenge, right? Like, uh, I need yeah. to kind of do things a little bit differently than I would in normal AWL, which yeah. is good. Yeah. I thought all of your challenges were really uh, uninspired and uh, boring, so uh, I want. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, that's just no, me. I kid. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, I wanted to add something that you would almost never encounter in the game itself, because challenge mode is one of these things that gives us uh, kind of the flexibility to play around with whatever we want, you know. And pretty much all of these rooms are stuff that uh, you know you might see huggers and werewolves when you play the game, but you're not going to see. You know, rooms full of barrels uh, configured like this. Why aren't you using your werewolf ability, son? I there you go. It was on <laughs> cooldown. Oh, I was actually waiting because I only had one. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I had one more after that. I yeah, got I'm... five seconds better. <laughs> Not much better. <laughs> I think I uh, maybe made the, the times too intense. I think actually the, uh, the boom spear is the way to go with this one. It is intended to be. Oh, I almost feel terrible. Oh, did you waste one? I've done that before. You know that bug where uh, kind of like the collision is a little too intense? Right. Like the axes can't sneak past a, a tile sometimes. I feel like the werewolf dash ability kind of ha also has a little bit of that going on. A little bit, yeah. Not too bad, though. But you need to give yourself a little bit of breathing room before you use it to make sure, uh, especially in this challenge, the resources you have, so the soul orbs, uh, are, are pretty valuable. You can play it in such a way where every single soul orb counts and you use them instantly the moment your cooldown uh, you know is reset as you die <laughs> dying correct me if i'm wrong but that will actually add to your time right like or does it pause the the timer uh, oh you still got one <laughs> I, it might actually pause the timer okay we so should we should check on that 
Well, the, the way the timer works is the timer, um... Ow. The timer is directly tied to the game time. So if the game time is paused, like, during a, an effect, like, say, like, a boss... Oh, that was bullshit. <laughs> uh, during, like, a boss intro or something... Right. Uh, then you won't... You won't incur time. So I think it's the same. Yeah. It's probably the same. Well, my times might be uh, too low. <laughs> I don't know. It's only a couple tries. I think that... Uh, you're yeah, like, maybe I can do better. sixth time is the charm. And uh, it could be <laughs> sixth time. <yeah. laughs> awesome. See. Oh, no. It happened again. We should uh, We should look into that. Uh, you, you used the werewolf ability, right? Yeah. Or no, I thought it was yeah. lined up correctly. Yeah. Hmm. I think maybe the... The boom screen, though, is the way to clear this room. Anyway. Yes. Although I'm just eating it really hard right now. <laughs> oh. Oh no! You're you're yeah. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this room, especially, you're supposed to just breeze right through. Yes. Oh, this brings up another thing we wanted to add, which is the uh, restart challenge option. Yes. Much requested feature. All right. Let's go. No more killing myself. Hundredth time is the charm. Here we go. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna line it up. Bam. Oh, look at all those huggers. Eat it, huggers. Eat hot boom spear. <laughs> all right. I feel like I did that room a little better than usual. Let's see. 19 seconds in this room. Ooh, not even like half a second in that room. Good job. So let's see. You really want to clear this room in like 30 seconds tops, I think. Which is pretty tough, but the way to do it is, uh, you know, <laughs> use your abilities. Yeah, I mean, use use your abilities and, and use the uh, the boom spear uh, smartly. I think a big part of it is kind of managing the werewolves because the fun thing about werewolves is you kind of have a lot of control over where they are and what they're doing. You yes. know, as long as you stay within their range, their cooldown for attacking is very, very low, so they will just kind of stay in the air and you can use that to control where they are and you know guide them into your own explosions hey look at that i almost got bronze okay maybe we should make bronze a minute <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see see the thing is it's hard because there's so many players out there who are better than us even though we've made the game and made all the challenges you know and they come in and they're just worlds better yes that is uh, that is how it works uh, also, my intention with that first room is that you start on the left, and when you after you collect the first two items, you can already use your uh, soul rush, the werewolf ability, to get out of that room faster, basically. Oh, man, I always screwed myself again. Oh, wow. I like, got see. more rush, werewolf rush that time, so... So you've got ten now, and really what you want to do, especially... Oh, no. we got to look into that. Yeah. The, the ch this challenge especially, you really want to be maximizing your werewolf dashes. Interesting. I like that. I don't think that there's a challenge right now that really focuses on the werewolf crashing. Yeah. It would have been more interesting before we took away the ability to rush over water, but that was just very buggy. <laughs> yeah. The player could like rush into places and be like, okay, I drowned in this lava, but I can't get out. This is fun, too, because it kind of mixes a little bit of monster killing with like navigating these barrels. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always like the uh, the kind of um, no. <laughs> the kind of balance. You know, like Legend of Zelda, first one of these games ever made. It, it kind of set the standard for that. You know, it was uh, battle tempered with puzzle. So that was a little bit worse. Let's give this one more good shot. Here we go, bronze. Rush, rush, rush. Use the use the rush mode right here. Rush, yeah, do it. You got right. this. Rush right away. Kill stuff. That's right. Do kill, that. kill, kill. Nuke him from orbit. And you got one second until you want to use it again. Ah, you're fine. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That wasn't bad. That was good. Oh, oh you out. used them all. You need one more. There you go. There you go. No, you're good. You're good. 16 seconds. Nice. Yeah. So you want to clear this by like 40, 45 seconds. I think maybe the way to do this room, too, is one, to not die. <laughs> like I just did. Highly recommended to not die. And two, maybe you want to like keep the werewolves kind of trapped until you can rush through them. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. Because that's kind of just free werewolf damage there. Oh, that was, that was good. So, you've got... You have the appropriate number of uh, dashes for this one. I think you might be able to... What is the limit here? Was it 45 was the gold, I think? Yeah, 45. Oh, I got bronze. 
Nice. That's good. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. It's me applauding. That's right. That's well good. done, Jeff. You did not fail miserably on your 10 billionth try. Right. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be a really tight silver. We need to tweak those numbers, I think. They might be a little too hardcore. Maybe. Well, if you can get silver reliably, that might I be think a good so. target for gold. Yeah, that's true. Um, it doesn't seem too far off, though. I mean, what do I, what do I need? I'm interested to see the players play it, and we might get some people who are like, dude, I got it in 40. Right. <laughs> Your trophies aren't intense enough! Well, if you think about it, I just got it in 51, and that was what, fourth try, fifth try? Nine millionth. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only six seconds off of gold. Yeah. So, eh. I was actually only one, 1. 1.9 seconds off of silver right there, so I feel, yeah. I feel pretty good about that. Good. Um, so maybe we will tweak it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just release it to the world. And uh, I think that in the case of challenge modes, it's probably better to err on the side of uh, more difficult goal times. That's kind of what I was doing, yeah. And then, you know, if it proves to be just completely impossible for most people to do, we can, we can always nerf it. <laughs> it's the, the World of Warcraft approach, right? That's right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Lost Play, uh, where Matt and I play our own games as well as sometimes maybe other people's games. Ooh, something fun for the future. That's right. And we'll see you next time. Ship it!